Hey, how you going there? Welcome to another vlog. Here's my man, Bigsy. Hey, like a wee shadow everywhere I go. Anyway, thank you for all your comments regarding getting the old farmhouse either livable or bulldozed over and rat proof. And that's exactly what we've been doing during this lockdown. And I guess if you guys have got your own home or bit of land, you're in lockdown, you'll be doing a heap of stuff at home too, not wasting this time. Because before you know it, we'll all be back to the old nine to five working. Anyway, check it out. That had all bushes growing, and I've taken your advice. A lot of you said remove all the bush around the outside of the house. You can see it's growing up the side of the house. My father's been telling me that ever since I've been in here, and he's quite right. But uh, I've taken on board it finally, because I'm not much of a housekeeper, and we've cleaned this whole side. So today on the farm, what we're doing is we're basically doing lots of cleaning, lots of removing. You see the, the holes of either rabbits or rats around the outside where they've been going underneath. So the, the first thing is to remove that, then we're going to be getting rid of these uh, bits here. You can see there's a uh, a hole up on the roof there, and the rats will be going up through there and into that hole in the roof. And they've actually made holes inside the house since we've been uh, cleaning stuff up. We block up a hole and they make another hole. And it's amazing how quickly they chew a hole. So the poison that I've been using, I've got a really good tip from a bloke that's in Australia. He's going to send me some stuff. He told me that rats actually have genetic memory of poisoning. So if a female rat gets poisoned but doesn't die, survives, her offspring will always be shy of that bait. So you've got to change your baits. And I've always used the same bait every time. So good tip, mate. I'm going to be doing that. We're changing the baits as soon as we can get them. We can't get them right now because it's locked down, but that'll be the next thing to do. Mikhail's working in the paddock to the front here. Let's go and see what he's doing. That's a rabbit hole the dog's been digging. And this paddock behind me is my little paddock here. It's got all these plants that are sticking up. And right now, Mikhail is tearing into it with his bare hands, pulling all these out. We're going to plant maybe some grass seed in winter. We'll see what it's like once they're all out and it's flat and the sheep have had a chew in there. But there's a bit of, a bit of grazing in there. We've got a couple of sheep in there now. Might stick a goat in there, milking goat. Not sure yet. So this is my bit of dirt around here. And it goes right up to the end there. Here's the boundary peg here in the ground. Working on a railroad for a dollar a day. Working on a railroad for a dollar a day. Working on a railroad for a dollar a day. Gotta get my money, gotta get my pay. Take this hammer, take it to the captain. I'll take this hammer, take it to the captain. Take this hammer, take it to the captain. Tell him I'm gone, tell him I'm gone. If he ask you, why's I running? If he ask you, was I running? If he asked you, was I running? Tell him I cried, yeah. tell him I cried. Yeah, this so hammer ring like silver. Oh, this so hammer ring like silver. This so hammer ring like silver. Yeah, shine like gold, yeah, and shine like gold. He ask you, was I walking? If he ask you, was I walking? If he ask you. So this morning we're going to carry on with the woodshed, and what we've found is this old, very buggered piece of isolation, and we've stuck it so it's underneath the bottom plate, and we're going to fold it up like this to the wall, right across. Lift your end up too, mate. Show. and then Mikhail is going to get the dirt and level it flush so we've got a flat floor in here because right now well, we haven't and the idea of putting this isolation is just to keep the dirt off the bottom plate because if you have dirt next to the bottom plate it will cause it to rot out more it's probably the saving grace of this actually bottom plate is not touching anything like the other one was on the floor and that's why it rotted out completely 
This is Mikhail's mission this morning, should he choose to accept it. We'll put this isolation in, get a removal this and get the full level. We'll come back in an hour and we'll see his progress. So one hour is gone and I don't know about you guys, but I reckon for an hour's work, he's he smashed it. I mean, he's not yet finished, we're still getting level, but he has done a hell of a lot in one hour digging. Okay, bro, I've got some uh, some good news and some bad news. Happy with the bad news. <laughs> the bad news. Do you really want to hear the bad news first? Yep. Well, I've taken venison out, the last of that stuff we had tonight for dinner. And it was um, on the bench. Uh, and somebody left the front door open. And the dogs have gone inside and taken it. And it's gone. Just before. Just before. Yeah. Mm. That's the bad news. <laughs> Look at your eyes, man. It's not the end of the world. We've got more in the freezer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you want to hear the good news? No. Nah, I just want to be depressed all day. <laughs> <laughs> good news is i got more in the freezer, man. Is we got. I've just... Been like when, when I was getting it out this morning for our dinner tonight, I found a whole lot more to know we had, which I put aside for Awi. Um, so we're actually we're actually sweet, and there's plenty of meat there. Cool. Yeah, so that's the good news. Yeah. And there's more bad shut news. Shut the front door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shut the front. Shut the front door, man. Yeah. yeah well, that's what I've been telling you. You're gonna keep it shut, man. Chickens and dogs go in the house and take our food. Yeah. So don't sweat it. Um. And they're not going to get on fine, Poe, because they've taken it and they've gone off with it somewhere. And that's why there was a bit of fighting going on. And I think they were fighting over it. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about it. But uh, there's there's uh, a lesson there. I have been telling you to keep it shut, eh? Mm. Yeah, mm. but you're not listening. You got got There's a reason for that, because animals are going there. But I'm really also stoked because I didn't. I thought that was our last bit. But when I was lifting up the freezer under all the burley, I found a whole lot more frozen packages. So I found this in the bottom of the freezer. It's freezer burnt, you can see, a bit stuffed. I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's hoggett, mutton, a big fat pig that I've caught. But what I do know is it's a shitload of meat. And it's not gonna be dog tucker, we're gonna eat it. So we'll have to thaw it out and just have a sniff of it and then start cooking it. Probably put it in the camp oven. But I'm stoked, because I didn't know we had that much meat left. It was hiding under the fish burly and stuff. Doesn't feel very good. Oh, come on, you bastard. It's got these uh, two old saws that Ross Johnston gifted me. And we're going to use them. You ever used one of those before, mate? No. Oh, we're going to crank into it now. Just keep away from the edge of that roof, bud. Don't want you going through it. And there's a, there's a power line there. You can see where it is, eh? I can see. There's a power line right in front of you. So you make sure your saw can't possibly hit that. Yeah. Directly in front of you. Don't saw towards the power line. It's dodgy here. Yeah, you cannot go near that with a saw. It's just not an option. One little accident and you're zapped. Your blade goes through that, you're connected, your earth, you just, you'll earth out, it'll kill you. So don't even risk it. We're taking the branches that can possibly go onto the house along here, but having a few uh, challenges. This uh, old telephone cable that runs along here. I've cleared a few branches. Chainsaws seized or not working. I can't get a gun. So all by hand. Next one I'm going to take out is this big one here It's got all these branches that go up again over the house Working on the railroad for a dollar a day Working on the railroad for a dollar a day Working on the railroad for a dollar a day Gotta get my money, gotta get my pay Take this hammer, take you to the captain. I'll take this hammer, take you to the captain. Take this hammer, take you to the captain. Tell him I'm gone, tell him I'm gone. If he ask you, so we're making holes on it, but a chainsaw would be a lot more faster. But we don't have a chainsaw now because my chainsaw will see something's going wrong with it. But I have lent a brand new chainsaw to my mate Simon a year ago. He needed one so he couldn't afford it. So I bought one and lent it to him. And uh, I think it's time I got it back off him though. He's had it for a year and I've never used it. It's brand new and it's a big one too. So uh, we might have to give 
Simon a corner, see if he can drop it off or we can pick it up somehow. So when you're doing something like that, that one I had set up because I knew you couldn't hurt yourself, but you've got to always be ready for that to happen. If it's above your head, it can fall down on your head. And you weren't quite ready for that there. Just slow down when you're getting towards the end and watch it. Sometimes you can let it just fall. Good job, mate. Right, we'll carry on and get these one above because that's where the rats are getting into the house on those branches here. While you're doing that, we're going to give a shout out to a couple of twins. Okay. So uh, Rob and Julie, who watch the channel, are my patrons. They've got two two twins. They're six years old, two boys, uh, Bailey and Finlay. So big shout out to you boys watching. And one, can you give a shout? Oh, <laughs> oh. sorry. That's all right, mate. That's okay. I was I was, I was standing. supposed to give you the shout out there. Yeah, you're you supposed to give me the shout out. That's yeah. okay. I was, it wasn't going to get me. I was too far away. But uh, that is your shout out, guys. Just carry on, bud. It'll fall down. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, remember you uh, two young fellas to eat your vegetables and that way you'll grow up to be strong like that man there. And also your meat too. Oh, who's come to see us, eh? Who's come to see us? Come on. Come on. Good boy. Got a bit of a fright. You can hear me shouting. Anyway, it's okay, mate. Oh, Bigsy. <laughs> So while everyone's at home on lockdown, I guarantee you there's more accidents happening at home than there was before with people doing jobs like this, with chainsaws and stuff. Guaranteed. Most accidents actually happen at home. So I'm not allowed to go fishing, I'm not allowed to go hunting, but I'm allowed to do stuff like this and work at home. I don't know, how many of you have had home accidents while we're doing this? We've had none yet, but could happen any time. Just a thought. Don't go hunting and fishing, you know, you might get injured. Yeah, no, don't go hunting and fishing. You might get a hook in yourself. I actually saw Sir Winston Peters was fishing off his front lawn. A few people sent me a uh, a picture of that, saying if he can fish off his front lawn, you can fish off the house, but because that's your dwelling, it's where you sleep each night. Good point. I'm not going to because I've got a lot of buddies that would love to go fishing who don't own a houseboat that would watch me doing it and feel envious, and I don't want to create that feeling amongst my mates, so I'm going to withhold just like the rest of my buddies, everyone else. That's going fast, bud. There's a big power line up the top there. So just be aware of it, yeah? Yeah. Big power line there. Yeah. Have you seen those? This one here. Don't touch it, mate. Yeah. yeah. It's got power under it. It's yeah. electricity. Don't go near that with your hands. Yeah, just... Otherwise, your hands, you touch that, your hands actually pop off at the shoulders. You get electrocuted. There's a guy that in Germany I knew who grabbed a line like that once and he lost both his arms. He was electrocuted from there. Very close to it, eh? Like, I didn't know about that. You didn't see that? No, I mean, it's right in front of my eyes. But I didn't know it was there. Oh, mate. See how the wood's got these lines? Yeah. The other ones you want to tackle with the log splitter. So, rather than go right down the guts, well, actually, there's a good line in the middle of that. The log splitter's got this on to protect it. Ideally, you don't want to hit this on the log, otherwise you'll bugger it, okay? She'll split clean in half. This waffle is actually quite tough. <laughs> so you use the, the wood, the grain, rather than use your muscle. It's got a bit of a knot here, so it might be a bit tough. That's why you want to drive it right on that crack. Bugger me! Bugger me! Here we go! Hey. Hey. Just using that crack. Good wood. Now we're away. Yeah. Take a piece off there. See how you're using the grain? Then we can get through it. Oh, she's tough. Tough airs, bro. Woo! Loving it. Okay, before you do that, explain to me why you're cutting there. I'm, I'm 
and see this and I think this is a grain and I want to hit that. Well, that, that's a slight crack, but you've got a knot there, bro. You slide in, that's going to stop. You're not going to go through that. You're by far better to try to take a piece off the end of that. Whittle it down. You can try that. You might be strong enough, but uh, generally there's a knot there. You struggle, I reckon. Have a crack at it. So there you go. You told me that this one's over here. Go for that one because <laughs> weighing up the new evidence. Well, you don't want to lean towards yourself too because you'll buckle that over. You want it so the angle as it comes down, you've got to think of how your angle of the head's going to hit it. Think about the, the pendulum swing of the end of your. So I'd, okay, so what was your reasoning for telling me to hit over here? What I would do, see how this piece of wood here is, see how it's sitting on an angle like that? Yeah. If you hit it with the pendulum swinging there, you're going to knock the wood down like that yeah. rather than break it. You're better to have it turn this way as you swing into it and carve a piece off through the grain there. That would be uh. that'd be my reasoning, but it may also not work. You've got to think about yourself. Just think about what's going on mechanically and, and apply your muscle to it. Nice. Yeah, not too much control going there. Put another piece in. Right, eh? <laughs> Have a look at those cracks in it again. I've got some more in there now. You got some more in there? Okay, you've done some damage. Right, eh? Oh, Jesus, boy. That was not looking flash. You didn't look like you had control of that. Well, don't don't let that happen again. That could have come flying straight back in my face the way you had that then. Hold on tight. Grip that tight. Not so loose. So yesterday, my mate came over and repaired the roof of the house, the old farmhouse. She no longer is leaking. He did a leak test with a hose, and he got it all. I'm walking down to the old pump down here because we used to have our water pumped up now we've got a holding tank to give us our pressure this is on the bit of land that I bought and I've been looking at it and thinking what could I do with it and some of you people might be already starting to think ahead of me here but if you look at this in here this is a big great big cylinder check this out and it's made of steel right at the top an old belt hanging down, it must be for the electric motor. It must be under here somewhere, is it? Don't know, or is it gone? There's no motor there. There must have been a motor there at some stage for the pump, I guess. That's gone. There's some place where they plug that in. That's uh, it's got no electricity to it now. But what I'm thinking is anybody with me yet? That's a big steel cylinder, it's a pressure cylinder, and it must have an input or an output somewhere. But what I'm thinking is you could actually tear into that with a grinder and you could make like a big oven out of it couldn't you you could have a fire somewhere just a thought so that actually is on my land and I talked to the old landlord he said yeah mate you can have that so food for thought so something that was going through my brain was what life must have been like before there was things like chainsaws because today my arms they feel like a gorilla now I've been swinging off that bloody saw half the day and just that you know a few hours I've done I'm feeling like geez imagine what it was like for our ancestors that didn't have chainsaws and then I got to think about other things I got to thinking about the washing machine the washing machine that's right think about the bloody washing machine how many hours does the washing machine save us people every day before the washing machine after you've been hunting or fishing or anything where you got yourself dirty working you had to hand wash your clothes and how many hours it take i remember my mother with a, a scrubbing board washing our, our uh, my, my brothers and sisters clothes all our dirty stuff because we used to get bloody dirty as kids playing all night and as you do and she's been hours doing it today we're just starting to wash the machine and we don't think about it so we're so it's just one of the many machines we have today so a bit of gratitude to all the machines and all the clever bastards that created them. Look at the pine cones up in this big old man pine up here. It's getting cold, there's snow in the mountains, it's time to gather pine cones and cut more firewood. Right, 
I've got a few more jobs to do. Then I'm going to cook Mikhail a big feed because he's been working bloody hard today. Man, he's chewing through the meat, but it's good because we found some extra meat in the freezer, which is lucky. Anyway, yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck with your own lockdown, whatever you're doing at home. Be safe, be good. Can't be good, then be careful. See you later. Shame on me for all the bad things that I've done. Shame on me for all the bad things that I've done. Some people call him Lucifer. I'm the devil's son. I'm the devil's son. Never said I'm sorry. Nobody did, I think. I was 15 years old when I robbed the West Bank Bank. A shame on me. All the bad things that I've done. Some people call him Lucifer, I'm the devil's son.